Here's the thing. I really feel like eBay feedback, and I could be wrong, is an antiquated system that most people in general don't really pay attention to. Hey everybody, I am Kerry, AKA American Arbitrage. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and whatnot, and I also dabble in content creation on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, wherever else they have it, Facebook, I'm a little bit everywhere. But today I just wanna do a little eBay talk because you know that's where I've been selling the longest since I started being a full-time reseller um, 12 years ago right? I think it's been about 12 years. It's been a long time. I am still recovering from my post um, business trip, you know, lull where I was not listing on eBay. eBay, as you guys know, is a fickle, fickle thing. Um, if you don't post every day, it gets mad at you. It says, we're not going to push your stuff. So I didn't, I didn't list stuff at all for a couple days and I'm starting to get back in the flow a little bit. I listed roughly 100 cards yesterday. As you know, my goal is 200 cards. I didn't quite make it. Today is gonna to be a tough one too because we're having our big auction this evening at Jesse's, yesterday's Fitz shop down in downtown Vegas. Um, and then when I get back, hopefully I won't be too tired <laughs> to, to do enough. I definitely will post some, but hopefully I'll have enough energy and focus and wherewithal to post 200 cards. That's my goal, that's what I love doing. Uh, that's the part of eBay reselling that I am passionate about. Let me talk a little bit about what sold today. I have like six items that have not been shipped that have sold today, I believe all of them today. Most of them cards. I did sell one Hawaiian shirt, which was not exciting for like seven bucks. It was a bins special, something I paid under a dollar for, and that sold for $7 plus shipping. Um, honestly, with the bins during the summer, I've decided because I really only started going heavily to the bins recently. Um, I went a couple times the last couple years, but this last winter, as you know, I went a lot. Um, it's probably something I'm going to do in the winter here in Vegas and not so much in the summer because in the summer I'm doing garage sales. And typically we have a lot of stuff from garage sales to post. I didn't go last weekend, but I'm looking forward to going this upcoming week. And that's why there hasn't been that many garage sale videos for me this week, because I didn't go. Um, next week there hopefully will be two or three, along with these kind of daily recaps and daily vlogs, um, you know, that I've been trying out. For me, I had a couple good card sales though, card sales that I wouldn't complain about. I sold, and I love this stuff, it's random. Random cards, believe it or not, if they're the right player from the right team in the right era can sell for decent money. Do any of you remember Peter Warwick? Florida State legend, part of the 1999 team that was epic. Um, he was a wide receiver. I think he was the fourth or fifth pick in the 2000 draft. I thought at the time as like a 15 year old or however old I was, 16, that he was gonna be a star and he really didn't pan out. Um, he played for the Cincinnati Bengals just for a couple years, I think, and then he was out of the league, I believe. But I got one of his Bowman rookie cards in Dallas at Collecticon for three bucks and sold it in two days, I think it was, for $13 plus shipping. I can't complain about that. I'm not even gonna try to. Don't make me complain about it. That's a solid card sale, and a quick one at, at that. Second off, I, I got another decent card sale here. Jair Alexander found two of these for $3 a piece in the bargain bins uh, in the uh, five, it was a $5 box. I got to talking to him he said if you got a certain amount, it went down to three fifty, dollars and then it ended up getting all the way down to $3 for me. I had a buddy that was there with me, One Million Card Projects, if you enjoy card stuff. He does a live show, definitely worth uh, checking out if you enjoy that kind of content. He got it all the way down, the cards down to two fifty dollars because he bought a lot more than me. So, you know, if you buy in bulk, you can always get deals. That's just how things work in any type of reselling. So I sold one of the two Jair uh, Alexander rookie cards for $20. $3 purchase. I have it up for like 30. I think I took a $20 offer. Once again, you make the money in the buy. I might've talked about this one yesterday, but it's important to know, you know, that you make the money in the buy. You all said it with me. I know you did. And I'm proud of you. Just a little aside, guys, I left the house. I'm addicted to soda. So again, so I got to go to the gas station, but I want to show you the name of this gas station. Very popular here in Vegas. Terribles. What is up with that? What a great, terrible name, right? I don't know why it works, I love it, but it's uh, you know, not the best name for a, for a gas station. I chose the Dr. Pepper Zero. I'm gonna pretend it's a regular Dr. Pepper and uh, you know, only be slightly disappointed. Okay guys, today I'm talking about eBay feedback. Is it overrated or underrated? Do, pe do people worry too much about it? What do you think? 
I believe they worry too much about it. But I think it's valuable to have. This guy, I love you. What do you think? People worry about about it too much, but it really hurts inside when there's a negative. It does. I think so, right? I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest. I have three negatives in the last week. So oh my gosh! I also have ninety feedback in the last week, though. That's what so I'm saying. Three out yeah. of the ninety were negative, and two of them were their fault. One was mine. Exactly. Like, it still hurt, and I'm trying to get the other two revised. But like, that's what I was. Know, it does. I don't feel like it hurts your account a ton but i don't think it does unless it's unless you have a ton <laughs> yeah. unless you have a ton yeah. and like like i said like no matter what you do sometimes yeah uh you're gonna get negatives yeah. just because people are hard to deal with difficult yeah. well no one of them there was a pinhole in the shirt and the shirt sold for 12 dollars, and i offered them six back if they wanted to keep it or just yeah. to send or just it send it back for a full and they refund. left negative feedback after we were trying to figure it out and I was just like, all right, keep it. I'll take the negative feedback for your six dollars. But yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it is. That's good. That's see, that's good. See, I'm not alone. Everybody's pretty much on the same page with this. What do you think, Don? Um, I just had the issue with the on the whatnot one, which that one bothers me. The one we just got today. Yeah, Don. Don is so and serious the about the whatnot one. She worries too much to about it. If you learn anything from this video, please, please, please don't take every negative feedback you get to heart. Not everything's your fault, and sometimes even if it is, you can learn from it. Okay, it's all about growing and becoming a better reseller, a better business person. You know, you're going to get negatives on eBay. You probably even can get negatives on Bonanza. Um, I imagine they probably have to, like, write a letter, and then it has to go via, like, Stagecoach, you know, to, like, some big hub city like Kansas City because everything's up to date there or whatever. Um, Oklahoma reference. Did you guys know I used to do musical theater back in the day? I'm a musical theater kid, and I was in Oklahoma. I was just like a random dude. I wasn't an important part, but one of the first times I'd ever seen Oklahoma was my mom. My mom was in a church production of Oklahoma in 1989, and I was obsessed with it. I loved it, and then it was cool. When I was like 18 or 19, I was able to be in it myself. So I love musical theater. One of these days, I'm kind of questioning if I want to do this, but I think I will. One of these days, I think I want to get back into theater a little bit. I want to try stand-up. I know my sense of humor may not work for stand-up, or maybe it'll work perfectly. Just to put it this way, I want to do more creative stuff. I'm out here in Vegas. I'm near LA. I want to try some fun stuff, maybe improv, you know, like I used to do when I was 18, 19, you know, 17, 16, when I was in high school. I think it would be fun. Um, one nice thing about doing content all the time that I didn't realize when I got started is it's like a creative outlet. You know, I'm just, I just have my camera, you know, looking at me right now, the window I think is closed. So it's not open. Sometimes they can hear me outside, whatever I'm yelling or pontificating about, but it's a creative outlet. It really is. And it's something I'm super thankful for. I did not anticipate that. I thought I was just going to be robot reseller, man. Hello, my name is Commonwealth. And I just sold an egg strainer. Is that a thing? For like $3. Buy that. Here we go. Baseball card. Buy that. That's what I thought I was going to do. And I did that for a couple years. It didn't work very well. I'm trying to be more myself and more creative as time goes on. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you made it this far, you know what? Gold star. You got a gold star. You did it.